We're locking in the benefit of the federal power system for the long term. To be able to guarantee to our customers a cost-based rate for a main portion of their power supply, you know, is a huge benefit for consumers in the Northwest. Energy is key to the revitalization of this county. So these contracts provide a little bit additional certainty. The long-term contract of 2028 is really good. We're preference power customers. We know that it's going to be cost-based. It represents a new era, a new challenge, a new chapter for public power in the Pacific Northwest. We're allocated a share of the federal-based system. Load growth beyond what our fluctuating allocation will be over the years is responsibility of the customer. You're truly locking in the value of the federal system and it's not being melded with outside resources. The value of the tiered rate structure is the fact that we are going to receive um, that price signal. Tiered rates is where the rubber beats the road. We know what our share of the federal base system is. The PUD tries to do its role. And again, that role is providing adequate supplies of energy at affordable prices. We don't want electric energy to be a reason for any company not to come to our community. So there are customers of Bonneville's that are contributing to the growth. And as you look at small co-ops in the state of Idaho, maybe there's some of those small co-ops that aren't contributing as much to the need for Bonneville to augment. So it feels equitable to me to come out with a tiered rates methodology. Conservation is probably our biggest hedge. Anything that I can save today prolongs that need for tier two resources, buying new resources at 40, 50, 60, renewables up to $100 a megawatt hour. Everybody knows the cheapest resource is the one that you don't have to go out and purchase. So if anything, I would say this rate construct greatly contributes to conservation efforts. We feel that investing in our communities via conservation energy efficiency is part of the desires of our customers and we want to satisfy that. As a Western Montana g and we explored wind, coal, gas, we explored everything and we kept coming back that this is probably our best choice. Northern Wasco has two hydro projects. If we're serious about our focus of providing adequate supplies of energy at affordable prices, that means owning some resources, owning additional generation resources. We're a leader in the country in the promotion of distributed generation. We have the most aggressive solar program in the country. We're putting up micro wind turbines in our community. We have biogas, biomass projects. I believe that we need to do our due diligence and investigate resources. And I think it's important that you partner to do so. Resource investigation is expensive. Our forecasts don't show a need till 2019. When you don't have the load growth that we're projecting and tier two requirements, that my emphasis and need to work very closely with BPA to manage tier one costs is very critical for our future and our customers. I think in the future, Bonneville is still gonna play an extremely important role in the Northwest, but I think more and more utilities are gonna to have to take more responsibility for their own decisions. To us as an individual utility, we get an energy source that is affordable and we get it in a way that is consistent and tied to long-term contracts that give us the knowledge that that resource is going to be there. So then we can deal with the other challenges that we have knowing that that Bonneville resource is there. Bonneville's been the best cost power from the beginning and will be. This contract continues to take that forward. The tier one power allocation is going to be cost-based. We can't do any better now.